data handling. After watching this video, the learner will be able to know about data, representation of data, arithmetic mean, range, mode, median, bar graph, and probability. Data. Data is measurement that can be organized to become information. It is a collection of facts in the form of numerical figures to give some information. Observation. Each numerical entry in a data is called an observation. You can see the number of times a particular observation occurs in a data is called its frequency. For example, suppose there are 37 employees in a government office. They were asked how many children they have. Now, the data is given to you. We know that each entry in this list is a fact regarding the number of children of an employed in the form of numerical figure. So, it is a data. And this form of data is raw data. Types of data. The data can be divided into two types. One is primary data. A data collected by an individual or a person directly is called primary data. Example, if a person wants to know about the annual income, saving, expenditure, number of family members, etc. of the employees of a company, then either he himself or his representatives collect the information from every individual of the company. Secondary data. The data which are collected by other sources and used by investigator for his need is called secondary data. Example, a data collected from an organization, magazine, bodies of different government and private societies. Range of data. It is the difference between highest and the lowest observation of the data and the formula is maximum value minus minimum value. For example, here the maximum value is 30 and the minimum value is 9. So 30 minus 9 is 21. Now central tendency. First is arithmetic mean that is also called as average, median, mod. Arithmetic mean. Sum of all observation upon number of possible observations. Example. A mean of this example is the sum of all observation upon number and number are 5. If you solve them, you will get 20. Mode. The observation which occurs maximum number of times in a given data. For example, the data is given to you and you can see 10 is the maximum number of times that is 2. So, mod of this data is 10. Second example, now see here size of shirt is given to you and the number of shirts sold is given to you. You can see here the size of 90 cm shirts and the number of so shirts sold is 8. Now you can see here maximum number of shirts sold is 37 and the size of that shirt is 105. So mode of given data is 105. Median. The observation which lies exactly in the middle of the given data. It may or may not be an observation of the data. For example, now the observation is given to you. These are the odd number of observation. If you count them, you will see here are odd numbers. And the median, median is the median value. Now if you will see the middle value, first you have to arrange them in ascending or descending order. For example, here the data is given to you and that is even number. If you will count them, it is 8. 8 is the even number. And first you will be set it in, in ascending order. You will see 10 plus 12, these two 
are the middle term so we will add one and divide by two we will get 11 and 11 is the median representation of data pictograph in a pictograph numerical data is represented by means of pictures line graph in the line graph numerical data is represented by means of lines by joining different points bar graph in the bar graph numerical data is represented by means of bars rectangles of uniform width with equal spacing between them histogram in a histogram frequency distribution is represented by joining adjacent bars pie graph in a pie graph numerical data is represented in a circular form bar graph it is a pictorial representation of numerical data by a number of bars of uniform width and equal spacing between them single bar graph here you can see types of supplies that is pencil scale pen sharpener and eraser and number of supplies is given to you we have to make the bar graph of this given information now for this we need a graph in horizontal it is types of supply and on vertical we have taken number of supplies we have take equal gap between them c 2 0 2 4 6 8 10 in above gap is 2 pencil is 8 so you can see from the graph 8.3254 this is single bar graph double bar graph use it is useful in comparison of two types of data see here class is given to you 5 6 7 8 9 and number of girls and boys are given to you we have to compare it now see the double bar graph now you can see that blue one is the girls and other color is for the boys now whenever we will draw we will we have to show the different types of colors so that it is easy to see now here we can compare compare the boys and girls of class 5 see here are 30 is the number of girls and 20 is the number of boys we can see easily that here gap is 10 similarly we can see others so this is double bar graph probability experiment the act of tossing a coin or throwing a dice is called an experiment and the score that you get is called an outcome example if you toss a coin a get heads up the heads up is the outcome similarly if you throw a dice and get five is the outcome the list of all possible outcome is called the sample space probability is equal to number of favorable outcomes upon number of all possible outcomes example when a coin is tossed it has two possible outcomes head or tail and each is likely to be obtained hence probability of getting head or tail is equal and that is 1 upon 2 an event that have many possibilities can have between 0 to 1. Those even which have no chances of happening have probability 0 and those are bound to be happen have probability 1. This is all about the introduction of this chapter data handling. Students you have to write all the points of introduction of data handling. Thank you for the watching the video. Like the channel also.